Hello my Squishmallow besties and welcome to this big video of all of the Squishmallows that I hunted and saw in stores, all of the Squishmallows that I bought, got in the mail, everything like that. Every Squishmallow, you know, moment of my life is documented in this video for February. <laughs> so if that's content that you're interested in and you want to see more or you just like this video in general, uh, give it a like because it helps me out and it lets me know that you want to see more of this type of stuff. So I'll keep doing it. And let me know if you prefer shorter, more frequent um, Squishmallow hunting videos where maybe I do like a week or two or if you like these like giant like month hauls. Um, let me know. I'm down to do either. So I just wanted to, you know, introduce you to this video today. There's gonna be mostly Squishmallow hunting clips, but there's also gonna be a couple clips of me unboxing Squishmallows that I got in the mail and all of that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get into the Squishmallows. So we're starting off here in Target, and honestly, Target has been pretty stocked lately. As of like these past two months, they have like a ton of Squishmallows every time I go. So you're going to see a lot of Target Squishmallows. <laughs> but um, yeah, we saw some Disney ones. I don't see those too, too much, but I see all of these pretty frequently, all those Octos and stuff. And at this moment, I had just missed the Clips box, but don't worry. I, I do get redemption for this. I do get redemption. I'm always tempted to take the box, but I just don't have room for it. But they had like another cap here with like this fuzzy belly llama and this cute little dog who I would buy if I had the space for her. And on the back, I had like more camels and some of these guys. This is like the eight inch target squad and these cute little donkeys. So they have some some pretty interesting little fellas over here. This is like the full squad. As you can see, there's a little pink froggy in there and a dino and all kinds of cute stuff. This one was pretty deflated, but yeah, we have all of these cuties here. And then in another section, I think this was the Valentine's Day section. We had some of these just like random ones that they decided to put in the Valentine's Day section for some reason. And then if I below here, we have some of these like little pug in bear costume. And I do have one of those that I got for a custom. And we had some of the leftover Valentine's Day. That was like the last of the five below Valentine's Day. And we had like a random bucket of other ones. Other random ones. This was part of the OG squad, but this was like the only one left from like Wendy and everybody else in there. There were no more of the others. And then here we are at Party City. They had a few micro mallows left. I have all of the ones that are in here, so I didn't need to get any, but it was cool to see them. I don't really see the micro mallows like too much in store, and you can see the Animal Crossing stuff in the back there, but they were seven bucks. Uh, kind of a ripoff if you ask me, but we found these big deep sea squad ones and a whole cart full of these party city archies so i grabbed one he's so cute with his little balloon and it was so hard for me to decide between the blue and the pink but i ended up going with the pink he's very cute i love him very much and at cracker Barrel, i saw some of these easter stackables and just like some chunky unicorns in there and we have like this whole display full of random ones. Cracker Barrel honestly also has been pretty stocked lately, but not with ones that I like or ones that I have room for. And I accidentally yeeted one off of the display, but I put it back, don't worry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Cracker Barrel has um, this Octo as well, which I do like, but I already have her. Her name is Mary. And then back to Target. And uh, I know everything is smushed together, so it kind of looks like I'm going back and forth to the stores like on the same day. But I guarantee you all of the majority of these clips, there may be a couple of them that are from like the same day altogether, but this is across the entire month. You got to remember that. So um, I went back to Target a little while later and they had kind of a different selection, picked up that frog. And also you will see the squish count up on the screen. Every time I um, put the squish count up on the screen, I did buy that Squishmallow in question so we can keep track of which ones I bought and how many I bought so we can see the total tally for all of the Squishmallows that I bought this month at the end. But here we are at Walgreens. I hate seeing these stupid hedgehogs and these mystery squad bags. I am so tired of these. I don't want to see them anymore. Then we saw some of these baby unicorns. So that's that's fun, isn't it? Just on an empty shelf all by themselves. <laughs> no, but there were some capsules and I did buy a couple of them to unbox. So I did that in the car. So we will hop over to that. So I'm in the Walgreens parking lot, as you can see, and I bought three of the capsules. I've actually bought one before and I got the bee. So I really hope I don't get the bee, but I did get specific ones like 
Um, with the bee and the little Dalmatian, you can kind of tell if they're in here because you can kind of see through the tops, like the black uh, ears on the Dalmatian, or you can see the black antennas from the bee. So I didn't see those on any of these, <laughs> so I'm really hoping for the little shrimp. I really want the little shrimp. And also, I'm not filming my face because I was not expecting to film today, so I look a hot mess right now. Um, and I also want the little stingray, and I don't know if that's all the ones you can get. I think the snail, I would really love the snail too, but I have the snail in like a micro mallow or a squishville size, so I'm not too worried about that one. And there were a bunch in that store, as you could see. So, like, if I don't get the shrimp or the stingray, I might go back in and get another one. I don't know. But I also don't want to dump too much money for, like, duplicates, you know? This is impossible. <laughs> okay, wait. I opened the actual plastic. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's the dragonfly! <gasps> That's so cute. Wait, is that one on the label? It is. It's on the front here. She is so adorable. Once we get her a little fixed up because she's kind of smooshed from being in the capsule. But oh my goodness, such a tiny little size. I love the tiny sizes because I just don't have room. So if they're tiny, then I can shove more into one spot. You know what I mean? Oh, yes, we got the stingray. <laughs> I'm so excited. He's so cute. Look at these little babies. I really love this size. Like, I love 5 inch, but these, these like, capsule sizes are also really cute. Hopefully these little marks come out. Okay, this is pretty good. No duplicates yet. The most perfect thing would be the shrimp in this one. I would be so happy. Either the shrimp or the snail. I literally can't get the plastic off. I have to, like, I have to pop the capsule open and then wiggle it out. Ugh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we got another one so we have we have duplicates am i really gonna go back in for more <laughs> i don't think i will i'm happy with these they're so cute so this is the haul from this day i got the frog and all of my little capsules and stuff like that so i did end up putting a little stingray up in this little shelf with like gray squishmallows and peachy was also interested i put one of the little dragonflies up in here with like some blue ones and the frog I had to put up in my closet with all the big frogs <laughs> so that one just got shoved in a basket but here we are at CVS and this was before Valentine's Day so I managed to find this freshly stocked little display and I was so excited to get heart cheek violet I have wanted this one for so long in five inch but I'm glad I got her in 8 inch. She is so cute. Then on to 5 below, there was quite a few baskets at this location. Um, there were some, you know, some, some okay ones in here. I do like this bear, but I wish the shirt was just like plain. Or she didn't have a shirt. I don't know. But here's all the ones that we saw. A lot of dogs and stuff like that. Like all of these dogs and this one, which I had never seen before and still have not seen again anywhere. And then we had this squad which was here with all of these cute little animals and like birds and stuff. This guy was pretty cute. I have him in like a smaller size, but I was kind of debating getting the uh, gray bird or the gorilla, which you will see in a bit. I didn't like the orangutan too much, even though it was it's pretty well done. I, I can't lie, this one is pretty well done. I'm just not the biggest orangutan fan. This bird is also cute. Um, the hyena, I don't like the printed fabric, but I thought the gorilla was really cute. But on to Hallmark, they had like this little group of ones that I definitely like. <laughs> and then they had a bunch of like Squishville and, and this bearded dragon and stuff, so I did pick up one pack. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna move on to something else. So I figured I would interject and we could open up some mystery, no, what are these trading cards together? <laughs> because I did get a couple of the collector's tins and they come with three packs each. So I did open up my Malcolm one. I still have two more tins that I have not opened because I haven't decided if I wanna maybe trade them for something else or if I'm gonna keep them. I got Stacy and I got Archie. So there's three packs in each of those tins, so I have six more if I ever do open those two. But anyways, enough babbling, let's open up these. I am actually interested in these now because before I, I absolutely did not care about these trading cards. I've never been like a trading cards kind of person, but apparently there are like golden ticket type of things. It's not actually a golden ticket, but you can get a exclusive Squishmallow. I cannot open this. 
you can get an exclusive Squishmallow if you find like a special card. So I really like that Squishmallow. I'll put a picture of it. So if I could get that one, that would be great. But I know it's kind of like really rare. But anyway, we're gonna see what we got. Ooh, I got like, oh, no, 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 spilling. So the first one is like this puzzle piece thingy. I don't think this is the full puzzle. It says find all 60. This is pieces 37 through 39. So that's cute. And then we have Kaya. If I mispronounce any of these, I am so sorry. We have Freddy. We have good old Stanley, classic Stanley. Oh, we have Maggie. I like Maggie. Sorry, these are probably gonna be blurry. This camera isn't good. It's a phone. It's just my phone. Um, we have Kenny. It's a dragon. Focus. We have Kenny. And we have Maui, the pineapple. I have a lot of Mauis, actually. The puzzle pieces are definitely <laughs> the uh, most interesting, but let's move on to the second pack. Here we have more puzzle pieces. <laughs> I'm not sure if you get this in every single card, but these are pieces 55 through 57, and the other ones we got were 37 through 39. So this is what we're this is what we're looking at here. We have Dexter. We have Delilah. I don't know what Delilah is. I think a dinosaur. Maui. We have. Winston, Lucio, the seal, Babs, we have Babs, I like Babs, and then we have Keely, who is a kangaroo, like again, I'm not the biggest like card person, so like these are cute, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them, no, <laughs> I got a duplicate puzzle piece, no, there's so many of these, so getting a duplicate kind of sucks, ah man, the first card is Scarlet, who I really, I really love Scarlet. I have a whole cube of Scarlet. She's one of my favorites. So that's really exciting. I'll put her card up there. We have, we have Bernardo the Burrito. Henry, classic. We have another fruit, uh, fruit squad, Ashley. Carmelita, the s'more. And Heather the Butterfly. She is very cute. And we have Chip the Beaver. Those, those are all the cards that I got. Again, I'm I'm not like super into cards, so I'll probably keep maybe a few of them, but I don't know what I want to do with the rest. I'll probably just shove them in a drawer. Anyway, let me know if you liked me opening Squishmallow <laughs> trading cards. If you do, then I'll open up my other tins in my next Squishmallow video, and I'll open the rest of the packs. I'll have six more packs to open up if I open both of my tins, so let me know. Are you interested in this, or are you just... Or do you just care about the Squishmallow hunting and Squishmail and stuff like that? I, I would totally understand if that's all you care about. Don't, don't be afraid to say that. All right, hello again, it's me. We're back at Walgreens with these hedgehogs that I don't want to see anymore. But this morning, I really wanted to go to Walgreens for some reason. And when I saw this zebra, I got really excited because that's the squad that the Bigfoot is in, the pink Bigfoot. So at another Walgreens, I found this squad, which I had seen never before in stores. So that was exciting to see. And then I found the Bigfoot. It was so, so exciting to find her. I was so ecstatic. She is so so pretty. Just look at her in the beautiful sunlight. She is mm, mwah, beautiful. I'm still not over her. I cannot believe that I found her. Um, ever since they like announced her or like released her, I think she was first in Australia and I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna get her. But today, today was my day. I don't have a spot for her, of course. I never do. Maybe in my closet. I have a bunch of uh, Bigfoot's big feet in my closet. So this is where I'm putting her for now in the closet. I have my Zozos back here and this one is not supposed to be here, but I just don't like I don't have room. This is where some of my axolotls are. The like pinky reddish ones, you know, they're not too far off from red like that guy, but it's not the same as like my baby pink ones. So that one should go here. But like there's literally no space there's literally no space this spot is reserved for joelle whenever i get joelle um or if they ever make an eight inch zozo zozo is my favorite bigfoot especially five inch she's so cute she's so cute i love her so much look at the little feet here is my package 
It's definitely not another squish model. <laughs> why would you why would you think that? I got this little baby lamb squish mellow. He's so cute. I think his name is Jacob. He didn't come with tags, but he also doesn't have like the little loop for tags. I found him really cheap on Mercari and I couldn't pass him up. I don't know, he's just kind of wonky and I just really liked him <laughs> when I saw him. All right, hello again. It is voiceover Raven back at Walgreens with these stupid hedgehogs. I don't want them anymore. I don't know, I don't know why they keep carrying them. So many, but here we are at Target. I thought the Axolotl was really big and cute, but of course no space, but plenty of these octopi and like the toast and these tie-dye things and more hedgehogs. No, I don't want to see them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, then there's these anniversary squishmallows, which I had never seen these before. Only the frog and the hedgehog. So I was excited to see new ones. The penguin's pretty cute. I like that blue shade, shade of blue. Um, but back at Cracker Barrel, not too much except for this cat, which I thought was cute because her little pink nose. And um, back at Target again. Now we're getting closer to Valentine's Day, I believe. And they had those like little pandas with the hearts. And I once again missed the clips, but... There was one last little dino, so I grabbed the dino. Um, of course, everybody grabs the good ones and they just run out super quick. So I was excited to find at least one <laughs> from the Target clips. Um, but yeah, they just had like a bunch of other ones. They always have like the same one, so. But they did have this Easter bunny. Oh, she is very cute, so that was exciting to see. And when I went back in the toy section, I found just like a random little axolotl clip, so that was exciting. And then at Walgreens, I also found a Valentine's Day clip, so I actually found a good amount of keychains on this month, so that was great. But another day at Target, um, we have some gray bunnies here, so that was very interesting to see. I like the bunnies, and I have to tell myself not to buy them because I cannot start getting into a new species, but anyways, at Walmart, I caught a fresh restock of like these Easter anime eye ones and saw a dreadful squish do, which was very not cool. But and then I found these like hug me ones and there's supposed to be a cow that was in this group, but it was not there. I think somebody took them all right before I got there. But there was also these laying cuddler things, which I think are kind of creepy. So yeah, back at Target, I saw another bunny. So that's fun, two bunnies actually. And then at Five Below, I found the little cockatiel and I did buy this one, but it was for my sister. So I'm not counting that in my total tally of Squishmallows, but I was excited to find that for her. And at Walgreens, I found this big boy, Omar. He is so cute. I love his little blush and he matches my couch. So I did pick him up and he is chilling on my couch. Um, saw some mystery bags and I found this little like camel. It's a kind of different camel than I had seen before, I think. Has like a little saddle on the back, so yeah. Then at Cracker Barrel, I saw these little Valentine's Day frogs. They are so cute. Thankfully, I had already ordered one in the mail, so I didn't need to buy it at Cracker Barrel. But they had this other clip squad. I did end up picking up that seal. There was supposed to be an axolotl, but I missed her. But I found this other basket over there by the, um, by the frogs and I ended up picking up this unicorn. Don't ask me why. I thought she was cute, okay, for some reason. Anyways, back at Target. Tar like I said, Target is hype. Target is always stocked. Target knows exactly its demographic, so yeah, then we're back at Walgreens. I saw a couple of these Valentine's Day koalas and some sad looking shelves, but then I found the collector's edition collection thingy majiggy. I was really excited for this because I've been wanting this little baby Wendy that's in there, the little frog. So after struggling to get that off the shelf, there, there was a ton more back there, which was exciting, but yeah. Then I found some more clips, which was exciting. And there was one last little, little bearded dragon. So I was super excited for that. So there's another box of just like unicorns. And then I came back the next day and I found a fresh box. Fresh. So that was really nice to see, but I had already grabbed all the ones I wanted, so I didn't buy any more for myself, but I was just like, wow, so exciting. It was so exciting. Anyway, <laughs> back at Walgreens, I found some more of those like anniversary ones and more of these like hug ones. I don't like these. Um, some more of the collector edition and there was this box. These pineapple raccoons are not squishmallows, but I was curious what was in that box. I don't really know what was supposed to be in there. And then at Target again, I go to Target way too much. Wow. This is, this is pretty bad. Anyways, <laughs> I saw this little guy. He's cute. The big version of the keychain, but I didn't get him. But then I found these bunnies and I'll be honest, I don't really like these. I think these are kind of ugly. I wish they made the fuzzy 
bellies and ears white instead. I don't know. Anyway, back at Walmart, I found some of these Easter ones and I could not pass up that lamb. She is so cute with the little flower and the glittery hooves and the little blushies and the heart nose and the lashes. She is so cute. She was a little flat. Um, there was one more back there. So I think I am going to open her up and stick some more stuffing inside of her. So she's a little more chunky. And uh, the minion actually gave me a jump scare right there. But they also had... I want to show you guys some more Walmart stuff. Because they had this ginormous frog. Look at it and compare it to my hand. I had to smack him. He was so big. And there was also this like poop thing. I just... I just want to ask why, like who approved this? Like, I don't understand. And then this same unicorn was still here or Pegasus, whatever. Just, uh, I can't believe I even touched it. And then there was this one, which I honestly kind of think this one's cute. Like, sue me. I think this one is cute. Kind of similar to my lamb. Um, I like the little bangs. I don't know. She's just kind of cute. Anyway, back at Target, I saw this bunny again. She was like wedged in there. I felt really bad for her. She was super squished. But there she is, very cute. I think her name is Bop, yes, Bop. And then they had these big boys, these big like bulls. I know people really like these, um, like the bulls and the cows and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of the shade of blue, but he was still cool to see. I like the glittery horns. All right, so this is pretty much the end of the video, but I have one last Squishmail package and it's a doozy. It's a doozy. This is probably my best Squishmail package um this this whole month honestly pretty much so i got these from canada i was able to get a couple of pickups for some some very good babies all right here we go i'm so excited for this we got some very wonderful tissue paper i'm so excited oh my goodness i have no space for these but it's okay so they're wrapped up very securely let me make some room on my desk for this box. Here's the first one. We have um, Heart Veronica. As you can see, I love I love Veronicas. So when there was one with a little heart on it, which I love hearts on Squishmallows and embroidery on the bellies, when there was one of these, I absolutely had to have her. And what's interesting and what I didn't know is that she has different tags, so that's cute. We got some special little tags. She's so cute. I love her. And then from the same squad, we have another little cutie. We have this butterfly. I don't know her name. Does she have a name? I don't think they have names on these ones. Cute little yellow butterfly. I've been loving yellow lately. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> we have this cute little butterfly. So now we have a very interesting one. Now. I am a fan of the weird looking ones, and these ones were a little weird looking, and this one, as soon as I saw her, I had to have her. We have, I don't know this one's name or what this is called, Squeeze Mallow. Little Squeeze Mallow. Oh, she doesn't have a name. Jaina. She is so cute. I just love, like, the long, little, like, floppy arms, but, like, short, stubby legs, and she has a heart, and she has a fuzzy belly, and a heart nose, like... She's just perfect. Her arms are so long. It's so funny. So she is so cute. I love her. What does her bio say? Are you ready for an adventure with Jaina? She loves to go for drives to catch the sunrise and could spend the day wondering. Whether she's with friends or by herself, she loves to see what's around the corner. She's a little adventurous one. So cute. And then the last one. This one. This one's good. Last Last but not least, we have the one, the only, Miss Joelle. She is stunning. She is beautiful. She's got a fuzzy belly. I love her oh so much. She is so perfect. <laughs> She's so chalky too. This is perfect and I've been saving my spot for you. I've been saving a little spot for you. So we're gonna put her there. Uh, let's just do it right now, I guess. If we open the closet, here we have da, 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 squishmallows <laughs> being shoved in here because I'm out of space over here. All right, so this is the spot I've been saving. I'm sorry, Archie, you're gonna have to get booted with my Zozo family since there is not an eight inch Zozo yet. You may take eight inch Zozo's place until she comes out and then I will have to find a different spot for you. But for now, you're good here. And now we have my little Bigfoots, my little army. So cute. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this one. I literally have no space. <laughs> I guess it can go here on top of the Minecraft bee. Actually, she should go on top of the Minecraft bee. Let's let's do that instead. 
Let's put you here with the pink frog. There we go. Now we keep the Bigfoots together. All right, now you're home, Joelle. I hope you love it here. In the dark closet, which I keep closed the majority of the day. Bye. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know if you want more Squishmallow content, if you liked this, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.